Okay, here we go. All right. Now this, this is the strange story of Hickety Peg by Audrey Wood and illustrated by her husband, Don Wood, and read to you by me, Jeff Babcock. Down the dusty roads and far away, a poor mother once lived with her seven children named Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, every day before the mother went to market, her children helped with all the chores. You help out with all the chores at home, don't you, each day? Well, one morning when they were finished, their mother said, because you are such good children, you may ask for anything you want, and I will bring it home for you from the market. Well, the children, they were overjoyed, and they knew, they knew exactly what they wanted. Monday asked for a tub of butter. Tuesday asked for a pocket knife. Wednesday asked for a china pitcher. Thursday asked for a, a pot of honey. Friday asked for a tin of salt. And Saturday asked for uh, crackers. And Sunday <laughs> asked for a, a bowl of egg pudding. Okay, now, who can remember what Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday asked for? Hmm? Let's see if you were paying attention. Monday, how many remember? Did you get it? Did you get it? A tub of butter. How about Tuesday? Tuesday, huh? Anybody got a guess? How about a pocket knife? Yep, yep, okay. How about Wednesday? Wednesday? Hmm? What did you say? A china pitcher. And Thursday? Thursday? What did, what did Thursday order? A pot of honey. And Friday? Friday? A tin of salt. All right. Well, the, the mother kissed her children goodbye, and she said, Now, be careful, and remember, don't let a stranger in, and don't touch fire. Well, the children, they locked the door behind, the, behind her, and then they began to play. Uh, now, I'll bet your mother probably warned you once or twice not to play with matches, huh? Right? Or talk to strangers like like this one over there in the window. She's coming. Before long, <laughs> a witch hobbled up the road and she was pulling a heavy cart and she rapped at the window and she called out I'm Hecate Peg oh oh I've lost my leg let me in oh we can't Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday called mother mother told us not to let a stranger in well Hecate Peg she took a pipe from her cape and she stuck it in her mouth. Oh, come now, sweet chickens, she called. All I need uh, is a, a light uh, for my pipe. Are you, will you bring me a burning straw? <laughs> oh, oh, we, <gasps> we can't. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday called, Mother, Mother told us not to touch fire. Well, Hecate Peg reached into her cart, and she pulled out a sack. Oh, I, I, I'm sure your, your mother won't mind, she said. 
Look, look, if you let me in eh, and light my pipe, I'll give you this. Well, leaning out of the window, the children looked into the sack. They couldn't believe their eyes. <gasps> oh, oh, gold, they cried. Oh, oh, well, for for a sack of gold, we'll 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 let you in and and light your pipe. Well, the children they unlocked the door, and they let the witch in. Hmm. Oh, thank you. And they ran to the hearth, and they brought back burning sticks of straw to light her pipe. Oh, here. Here, I've got one right here. Oh, huh. But when it was lit, Hackety Peg threw the pipe to the floor and she shouted, <laughs> No, I've got you. <laughs> and with that, the witch turned the children into food. Monday uh, oh, it became bread and uh, oh, uh, Tuesday became pie. Uh, uh, Wednesday became milk. Thursday uh, uh, became porridge and Friday became fish. Uh, uh, Saturday became cheese. <laughs> and Sunday uh, uh, became roast rib. Hickety Peg, she gathered up the food and she loaded it in her cart. And without looking back, she pulled the cart down the road, over the bridge, and through the town. And oh, oh look, 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 look right there. Who is that? That's their mother. Oh, it looks like she's picking up a, a china pitcher. Oh, oh, oh. Over the bridge through the town, across the field, and deep into the woods to her hut. There she goes, over there. And deep into the woods to her hut. Ah, I say I'll get that. You, oh, these are gonna taste so good. <laughs> Soon the mother returned home and she was carrying a large basket and inside in it were all the things that her children had wanted. There was a tub of butter for Monday, there was a pocket knife for Tuesday, a china pitcher for Wednesday, a pot of honey for Thursday, a tin of salt for Friday, and crackers for Saturday, and a bowl of egg pudding for Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, she called, but no one answered. And then the mother found the witch's broken pipe on the floor and burnt pieces of straw, and tears flowed from her eyes. Who, oh, who has taken my children, she cried, and there was a blackbird who had seen everything and took pity on her and hopped down to the windowsill. Follow me, the bird chirped. It's Heckity Peg. She's, she's lost her leg and oh, oh, they, they let her in. Grabbing her basket, she followed the bird down the road, over the bridge, through the town, and deep into the woods to the witches hut. Heckity Peg had just sat down to supper, and she was about to take her first bite, when all of a sudden she heard a loud, loud, loud knock at the door. Let me in, 
the mother called. I want my children back. Ah, hey, you, you can't come in, said Hackety Peg. Your shoes are dirty. Oh, oh, well, then I'll, I'll take them off, the mother said. And, and so she did. Let me in. I want my children back. You can't come in, said Hackety Peg. Your socks are dirty. Then I'll, I'll take them off, the mother said. And so she did. Let me in, the mother called. I, I want my children back. You still can't come in, said Hackety Peg. Your feet are dirty. Then I'll cut them off, the mother said. And she went away as if to do so. But instead, the mother hid her legs behind her and crawled back to the witch's door. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. <laughs> when Heckity Peck looked down, she thought the mother had no feet and she let her in. The witch pointed to the table. Here are your children, <laughs> she said. If you can't guess them right the first time, I'll eat them for my supper. Keeping her feet tucked beneath her, the mother crawled to the table. How would she ever guess which food was which child? In despair, the mother looked in her basket. Here, oh, here are the things my children wanted, she thought. And now they will they'll never have them. Hurry! said the witch. I'm hungry. And the mother looked at the food on the table. Speak up, said the witch. My supper grows cold. Suddenly, the mother knew what to do. Taking the things from her basket, she said, I, I know my children by what they want. Bread wants butter. That's, that's Monday. Pie, pie wants, wants knife. That's, that's Tuesday. Milk, milk wants pitcher. That's Wednesday. Porridge, porridge wants honey. That's Thursday. Fish, fish wants salt. That's Friday. And cheese wants crackers. That's Saturday. And roast rib wants egg pudding. That's Sunday. Oh, well, quick as a wink. The children turned back into themselves and they hugged and they kissed their mother and they hugged and they kissed each other. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, we're safe. Oh. Jumping to her feet, the mother cried, ah, I've got my children back, heckity peg. Now you'll be sorry you ever took them. So she chased the witch around the hut, out of the woods, across the field, through the town, and onto the bridge. And Heckity Peg jumped off the bridge and was never seen again. But then again, years later, one day, a mysterious creature appeared and made his home under the very same bridge. <laughs> and this goat, this goat right here, decided one day to cross over that bridge. <laughs> but that, of course, is another 
story. The end. I hope you enjoyed the strange story of Hecate Peck. See you next time.